Hey guys, Sean V. Martin here, and welcome to my world edit tutorials. We're here on the Five Things server, which uh, we may get off eventually because I want to do some pretty big world editing things, and I don't want to mess up uh, the server or what other people are working on. So, uh, but I'm going to start off here and show you uh, the basics, the very beginnings, and this is a building I'm working on, and we're going to go up here. I realized that this would make an excellent example of a few things that I want to do so we're going to work on it here okay world edit works uh, by selecting areas of blocks and then by manipulating them and there are many different ways to select the blocks and you will use many of the different ways so it's probably good to know all of them uh, the first way is to stand on top of the blocks that you want to select and use the text command so if i'm standing on top of this block i'm going to type slash slash position one pos one and that block is now selected. The block that is above the one I was standing on. If I go over here, I will type slash slash position two. And I now have selected a region that begins here and ends over here. You will notice that I have this uh, very nice client side mod installed now so that you can see what I'm selecting. Uh, all of the instructions for how to install this for yourself on your single player world or on your server will be in a link in the info. Don't ask me questions because depending on your setup, depending on whatever, I, I don't really, I'm not that technical with this stuff. I just followed the instructions and it worked for me. Um, I can't really help you troubleshoot your problems. Uh, ask the guys who made it. They support their product and they help you troubleshoot. So go check out their forum threads, which will be linked in the info. Okay, now that we have a selection selected, we can begin to manipulate it. So let's try this. You can expand the selection in all six different directions. Six different directions? Yes. North, south, east, west, up and down. The easiest way to do north, south, east, and west is to know which way they are, but you don't have to know to expand it. So let's say I want to expand the selection off the balcony here into the distance. I can simply look that way and then type slash slash expand and how many I want it to expand in that direction. So we'll say three. If I wanted to expand it in a different direction, uh, for instance, up, Without looking in that direction, you just add the command on the end. North, south, east, west, down, up. Now we have a 3D selection. Now I said there are other ways to select things other than just standing on them and typing the position command. For instance, you can look at something and type a command. So for instance, I'm going to look up at that leaf block on that tree. Now this command is H position. So I'm going to set my H position one up there. And I'll set my second position over there. H position two. So by looking at a block, you can select an area. Now the easiest way to select an area, but not always the simplest, which is why I showed you those two ways, is to get the wand. The wand is by default just a wooden axe. And it works by, it's pretty much like the portal gun. You left click for point one you right click for point two. So I've now selected that area. Now, since it didn't select the area above it and that's what actually what I want to manipulate, I'll show you another way to manipulate the selection. You can simply move a selection without moving its contents by using the shift command. So I want to use the shift command to move this selection one area up. Now I have this selected on top. Now the whole reason we're doing this right now is for me to avoid adding fences to my inventory. Check this out. So to set an area, you simply type set. And then if you know the item ID, that's usually the easiest way to get it to set to what you want. But if you just know the name and you're running the proper mods or plugins that you need to, you can use the name. So I'm going to set fence. Now I have a very nice fence. Now for those of you who do building with fences, you know that they cannot stack on top of each other by default. You need to do that really tricky uh, <laughs> build the whole way up with another type of material, then put fence on top, and then build underneath. With World Edit, you can do things like this. Expand 5 up, set fence. That's pretty nice, right? None of the headache of having to <laughs> 
go the long roundabout way that Notch should really just program into the game since you can stack them anyway. Okay, so let me show you some other ways to manipulate your selection. In addition to expand and shift, you can also inset and outset. So for instance, I'm going to outset my fence, sorry, two slashes, outset the selection of FET. Ah, <laughs> no, I'm combining what I'm saying with what I'm trying to type. I'm going to outset the selection of my fences by one. Okay? It's moved one in every direction, one down, one north, south, east, west, and one up. Now, uh, let's say, hmm, I want to surround <laughs> my fence with glass, but I don't want to interfere with the building. That's where the replace function comes in. I'm going to replace the air, or you can use the item ID zero, with glass. Pretty cool, right? So we now have fence <laughs> inside glass. <laughs> Did I mention this will not be a permanent fixture? In opposition to expand, of course, you can also use contract. So for instance, if you've gone too high, you can contract a certain amount down. Cool. Or contract five east. So I've moved it five in that direction. Basically, expand and contract are exact opposites, just like they should be. So the way you overcome the mistakes you make, like surrounding a bunch of fence with a bunch of glass on top of the house that you're trying to make look pretty, is by using the undo function. Pretty handy, right? Of course, redo works as well. There is another way that I could have placed the fence on top of these blocks, and I will show you how. If I select these blocks with the wand again, you can use overlay fence. It will simply put the type of block that you specify on top of the blocks that you have selected. Okay, let me show you a few more ways that you can manipulate your selection. I want this fence to be on all four walls of this building, but I am really way too lazy to get out my hammer and some nails and get my knees all dirty, po pounding these things into the stone. So I just want to copy and paste this fence around the building. The way I'm going to do this is by using the copy and paste function. Now the copy and paste function works in a kind of funky way and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to stand here to do it. There's a reason I'm standing here, I'll explain more in a minute. Right now I'm just going to stand here, face the fence, and type koi, <laughs> type copy. Now I want to duplicate this fence here, so it might make sense to you that I would stand in the similar pl in a similar place to there. I'm standing in front of the last block on the right side, and that is correct, but it won't be immediately correct. Watch this. Okay. See, it says pasted relative to you. What it did was it acted as if I was standing here, right in this part of the fence, and then it pasted it exactly the way it knew how to, which was running this direction. So it's your fault because you copied that and wanted it here and you turned, world edit ignored your turn. <laughs> so I'm gonna undo that, and here's how you fix that. You rotate, and when you type rotate, it knows that you're referring to the clipboard, 90 degrees. Uh, it works so that it rotates 90 degrees, this is clockwise, yes, clockwise. So you go to, to the right. If you wanted to rotate to the left, you would use 270 degrees, and you would go over here, which I will do momentarily. But for now, we're going to stand here, paste, oh, poised, paste. Then we're going to rotate 90, go over here, paste, rotate 90, and paste, uh, T paste. Another way to copy and paste the selection in a more automated way is to use the stack function. That will copy and paste selection in a specified direction for as many iterations as you state. So for instance, I'm going to look in this direction and this fence is still selected and I'm going to stack 10 times in that direction. There, now I have a <laughs> giant cobweb of fence uh, that I have stacked. Pretty cool. Gonna undo it. You can of course do it in every other direction by specifying you can just add to the end, so I stack a 10 up, get a big gate or something. 
etc., etc. Let me uh, head over there and build something, and then I'll show you something a little more complicated. Okay, I have built the simplest of stone structures uh, that is just one section on what I want to be a bridge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my wand, position one. <laughs> I'm still selected something over there, so I've made a giant selection. This uh, plugin was suggested to me by a viewer, by the way. I did know about it, but at that point I had not installed Mod Loader, so I was just kind of ignoring it. I should not have ignored it. Uh, <laughs> this is very, very valuable to have, because up until this point I was just kind of visualizing selections in my head, which I, I wasn't bad at for sure, but uh, I definitely made mistakes. Anyway, <laughs> position one down there, position two up there. I now only have this stone structure selected. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack it in that direction several times. I'm not sure exactly how many I need to do. Uh, we'll try eight. Okay. So there. Isn't that neat? So we now have, let's see. Yeah, I kind of want it to go generally in that direction. I'll make it prettier later. And I think we're almost out of time for the first part of the tutorial. So leave any questions or comments that you have in the section below and I will read them and hopefully answer them all in the next part and next time I'm going to show you how to do stuff like spheres and cylinders so you can keep your lid tight about that but if you have anything that specifically that you want to see I will show you and we'll also get into things like brushes.